what is up guys uh, I am the blender coder and today I'm gonna be teaching you how to change our objects um, change well pretty much just change our object with Python so let's just get started uh, first thing I want to point out is that I am making a playlist I think I pointed this out in the last video too on how to just use Python in general with uh, idle so let's get started change this from default to game logic and then um, blender render to blender game go over here to window and toggle system console uh, yeah toggle system console okay so I'm just gonna move this down a little bit and with our keep selected and you select things with your right button on your mouse um, let's go to add a sensor add only sensor add a controller and add a python controller so um, what this is doing is it's always going to be running our Python script so let's just name our script first let's go over here to templates Python and then game logic simple and then let's name our script right here so let's just name it script.py for Python and let's plug in our script right here so you can name it any way anything you want but for tutorial sake I'm just naming it script so delete this portion I have highlighted right here um, we do not need it and it will give us errors if it's there unless you actually name those things which if you want to spend your time doing that go ahead but whatever so let's just change the um, scaling of it so what you do is you say own so ourselves dot local scale so I explained what local meant make sure you spell local right I explained what local meant in one of my other um, tutorials um, lo local is how um, it's pretty much which one of these faces are its actual Y so you'll see this green arrow is Y right so let's just press R to rotate our cube like this and then R to rotate it like on our X axis like this it'll s still say that this arrow right here is our X but you'll g see if we go down here and change this from our global to our local that now our X is right here so it's going to be changing it or our Y is right here so it changes um, it doesn't really change but it's uh, let's just press C to get out of that oh, not that far back so it pretty much goes by the uh, face of the object so where what position it's in not its actual global axis axis so let's to get rid of that I think I accidentally went too far back so own own dot local scale local scale and let's just say plus equal one so it's going to plus equal one and let's just press P to play make sure yep okay and we have an issue so let's go over here to our window console and it says something's wrong with line 9 oh yep something is wrong with line 9 okay so we just said own dot local scale we actually have to tell it which one so uh, point Y point X so oh, what do we want to change it on let's change it on our Z axis so Z is this blue line so point Z so own dot local at local scale dot Z it's gonna plus equal one and you'll see that it got taller so let's just do that again and if we go down here to always press these three dots so that's what those three dots are for um, it makes it so it's always doing it if we say this always right here it runs it once I don't understand that but if you press these three buttons it turns pulse mode on and it sets a frequency to how fast it'll do it obviously the lower the frequency the faster it'll go so you'll see that if we change our frequency to like 120 beats um, 120 pulses you'll see that after 120 pulses it changes so that's how we do that let's just say um, dot Z what if you I'm gonna experiment for a second. Dot x. Dot y. I'm pretty sure that this won't work. Yeah, no, I didn't think so. Um, so let's just change this from 
let's just copy and paste this. Okay, and then change this from Z to X and this from Z to Y. So you'll see that now it grows larger like that. Let's just turn make turn the frequency back to zero. Zoom out a little bit. Press P to play. You'll see that it just comes at us. So that, so that's how you um set the scale of something. Uh, one second. Sorry about that, guys. You, but um, that's about it. But you'll see that we can make a uh, function out of it to size the whole thing out. So let's just um, come right here on the same indent scale of this define. So let's define our function. So def, and let's just call this like set size, and make sure you have those things. And what this is gonna do is um. Well, let's just call this size up actually because yeah size up so what, what this is going to do is, is um, now we have to actually because this is this function is different than this function we have to take these and we have to re um, we have to remake these variables inside this function so let's just copy and paste that simple enough and then let's just say own dot local scale is uh, dot x and let's just copy and paste that and y z and we're gonna say well plus equal say let's say point two so it's not not going too fast so we'll plus equal point two plus equal point two so that's good so that's our function um, You'll see that nothing happens, and nothing happens because we need to call a function first. Right now we're calling this main function, which is right here. So now we have to call this function. I explained it in the last tutorial. So pretty much we just call it by, um, it's kind of like calling someone's name. You just pretty much type out its name, and then add the two parentheses. So this is just calling the function. Okay. And then let's press P, and you'll see that it grows up like that just because we called this function right here. So that's about it guys. Um I might make a more advanced version about this of this, I mean. Uh, okay. So where we uh I might make a more advanced version where we can say like size up and then say how much we want to size it up by like 0 0 and then like 1 on the z axis or something. But not today. Um that might be my next episode. But um that's it for scaling, guys. Uh see you in the next episode. Bye.